All right. So, um, so the question says, so this is in the fluids chapter. Um, oh, wow, it doesn't have hints. I must not have programmed in this question. Um, usually if it's a question that I programmed in, <laughs> then there's um, always some kind of a hint. Uh, even if the uh, only thing that the hint is uh, saying is to tell you to oh, look at this textbook section. So uh, <laughs> since that question doesn't have that hint, <laughs> what I will tell you in this video is, uh, it, you know, it's uh, going to be something that uh, relates to one of these sections here. Let me read enough of the question to uh, tell you to be able to tell you which of these sections um, you should do review if, ne if necessary. So it says, a uh, submarine is stranded on the bottom of the ocean with its hatch some distance below the surface. Calculate the force needed to open. There. Okay, okay. Okay, so um, you are going to need two things. Um, one, because it's asking calculate the force needed, one, you are going to need the definition of pressure. So that you would uh, get it from section 14.1. Um, and you know, this is one of those definitions that I hope by the um, end of this section that you have it memorized. Um, oh, wait, maybe not, for, yeah. Pressure is force per area. And uh, in the lecture, I have a longer um, introduction to why we need to define pressure in order to do uh, mechanics with, uh, with the fluids. So you need that. And the second thing you need, because you're not given the pressure at this depth directly, although for some weird reason, they are giving you like a density of the salt water and all this stuff and they're giving you the distance by which the hatch is below the surface. And all of this put together, what it amounts to is, um, you needed this uh, formula that's been derived in lecture and also um, in the textbook that gives you the pressure due to the weight of fluid. And mm, it could have been section 14.1, Variation of, of pressure without that, yeah. So, so yeah, everything you need is in section 14.1. Uh, so they are going through the derivation here. In the end, what it amounts to is the pressure at certain, or pressure at a certain depth is pressure at the, uh, at the like the surface, that's what that peanut is, plus the pressure due to the weight of the fluid. That's the second term, rho times H times G. So, I'll be using those two to answer this question. Let me just uh, write it out. So we need, um, so let me just uh, label this as H. Um, that's uh, how much height of fluid I have above the surface. It says uh, calculate the force needed to open the hatch from the inside. Um, so for this uh, force needed, I'm going to need to say, okay, force, um, that matches with the pressure that the force is uh, exerting or overcoming is going to be pressure times area. And this comes from the definition of pressure as force per area. Uh, from the inside, given it is a circular and 0 0.43 meter in diameter. Okay, uh, let me just label this as D. Air pressure inside the submarine is 1.0 atmosphere. Okay, so this is great. Um, what this means is that if I imagine this kind of picture, so I have my sea surface here, and above the surface of the sea, I have a pressure of one atmosphere. And the submarine is some air down here with hatch here that I'm going to try to open. And um, and if I'm looking at the pressure here, the pressure at this point is going to come from that formula in section 14.1, the pressure on the surface plus the density times, I always write G first, G H, uh, H being this depth of the fluid. Um, so in my default would be to, take this pressure into uh, my 
it can take this pressure, which actually I should label as P naught. Um, the default would be to take this pressure into account here. Now, I'm saying it's good that the air pressure inside the submarine is 1.0 atmosphere, because if you imagine a sailor, submarinist, I don't know how to call people in submarine, say sailor. Uh, when you imagine the sailor trying to exert a force to open this hatch, the sailor actually has help. Um, whatever the atmosphere here is, apparently one atmosphere, that's actually helping op uh, push the hatch outside, uh, outward as well. So, so in this context, what you're really concerned with is not the absolute pressure like this, but more of a gauge pressure, meaning pressure difference between the inside and outside. And if the pressure inside the submarine is also one atmosphere, then in taking this difference, the pressure on the surface of the fluid it gets canceled out. So I only really need to worry about the, the amount of applied force, which would be associated with this difference in pressure times the area. So I really only need to worry about this portion here. That's going to give me my difference in pressure between inside and outside. And I just need to multiply it by area. That will give me the amount of force I need to apply. So uh, let me just write this out fully. I think I have rho already in basic SI unit. G, I'm going to plug in 9.8 meter per second squared. H, I have that in basic SI unit. Um, so I just need a, a expression for area. My area, you know, it's area of a circle. So it should be pi r squared or the diameter divided by two squared. So, so I think I have all the numbers. Let me just break up my calculator and just plug in the numbers. I have. I have the uh, density of the seawater. Um, so I'm calculating the, the change, difference in pressure first. Density of seawater, 1025 times G, 9.8 times the depth of the water, 25 meters. That's going to give me difference in pressure. I multiply that with the area, pi times, okay, parenthesis, uh, 0 0.43 divided by 2. Uh, so that's r squared equals that. So just eyeballing it here, it's a uh, thirty-six thousand for. So this decimal here is where ten to the power of four is. So it should be three point six five, three point six five times ten to the four newton. So so yeah, I, I guess uh, the one of the common mistakes someone could make is not realize importance of this and just to include the atmospheric pressure. You know, when you open the door to your house, you don't, one atmosphere actually exerts a tremendous amount of force. There's a demo, lecture demo that I like to use that just illustrates how much force you need to just lift a square of a area of this big. And, and this, if the question didn't tell me this, I might have just assumed it so that um, I'm making more realistic assumptions because it's quite unlikely that inside of the submarine would be vacuum. Like maybe that could happen, but um, that would be quite unusual. So, uh, 